welcome back from your long four-day weekend, Raiders. I hope it was a good one. I'm Katie. And I'm Melissa. And here are your announcements for this week. Class of 2017, graduation is right around the corner and it's time to get ready for EPCHS's project graduation. Sign up right outside the cafeteria during lunch on April 18th, 19th, or 20th if you plan to attend. Choose your t-shirt size, sign the back of the shirt, and pick up your permission slip. If you're in co-op, please see Ms. Jones in the gym to sign up and sign the class t-shirt. The last day to sign the t-shirt will be Thursday, April 20th. EP Robo Raiders is recruiting high school students of all ages who are interested in web design, marketing, and advertising, public relations, robotic competitions, robot and software design, and social media. If you're interested and you missed the informational meeting, you can contact this group at eproboraiders at gmail.com or visit their website, which is eproboraiders.com. Do you love to sing? Do you want to sing with a group of other talented students? Chorale auditions for next year's ensemble will be held on May 9th and 11th from after school until 8 p.m. Audition slots will be in 10-minute increments. See Miss Church in 101F, the chorus room, for details on audition music. Makerspace Club meets in the library on Tuesdays from 3 to 4. Students must complete an application to attend. Please see Mrs. B. Craft in 236B if you're interested. The concert you've all been waiting for is finally among us. The Girl Up fundraiser is this coming Friday, April 21st from 7 to 9 p.m. You don't want to miss performances by Analog Planet, The Floor, and The Royalists. Tickets are $7 and are on sale during lunch. You can also see Miss Ganem with any questions. Congratulations to our April Student of the Month, Jacob Sells. Jacob was nominated by Mr. Bowman because he exhibits terrific character and is a model for all student athletes, both academically and in his commitment to his teams. Three seniors have perfect attendance. Greg Gold, Jacqueline Ingold, and Christopher Wagstaff haven't missed one day of school all year. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, look up at the screen during lunch or log on the school website and check them out there. Stay tuned for a look at the upcoming career fair this Friday and the NHS induction ceremony. Our president, Ronald Abdallah. Our vice president, Caleb Kelch. Our secretary, Pialani Noguchi. And our treasurer, Chris Underwood. Repeatedly, it has been demonstrated that the more people do to help others, the more they try to improve their surroundings, the more that they will get out of it for themselves. However, the co-curricular activities of the school are not the only source of service. This week's Inside the Tribe was brought to you by me, Detective Horn. And this is just a reminder to sophomores, please stay out of the main parking lot where you will be dealing with Mr. Sargini or myself. All right, so the EPCHS Career Fair happens biannually, so it happens every two years. Um, and what it is, is it's a chance for students of all ages to come and check out tons of different career paths, um, anything you might imagine you could do with your life after high school. Some of, the, some of the booths will be colleges, some of the booths will just be unions and trade schools that you can enter right after high school, and some of them are things you can think about after college. Um, and it's our hope that you just kind of explore different options, maybe get outside of your comfort zone a little bit, and um, think about things that aren't the norm, other, other kinds of careers that are available in our area locally.
Hello and welcome back for this week's Extracurriculars. I'm Becca. And I'm Chris. This coming week we have a good lineup, so be sure to come out and support your Raider family. Tonight, Varsity Track has a home meet versus Morton. Softball is away at Morton, and Boys Varsity Tennis has an away match at Morton. Also, Girls Varsity has a game away at Canton. On Wednesday, April 19th, Boys Freshman and Sophomore teams play at home versus Pekin Varsity. Baseball is away at Pekin, and Boys Varsity Tennis plays at home versus Bloomington Central Catholic. On Thursday, April 20th, girls JV and varsity soccer play at home versus IVC, and softball plays at home against Washington. Also, boys varsity tennis is away at Manual. On Friday, April 21st, girls and boys varsity track compete away at, at the normal community invite. Freshman baseball is away at Richwoods, and sophomores are playing Richwoods at home. Also, girls soccer plays Olympia at home. Lastly, on Saturday, April 22nd, varsity baseball plays away at Springfield High School while freshman baseball plays at home versus Normal West. Also, varsity softball is away at Metamora. There sure is a lot going on this week. Make sure to go out and support your Raider family. I'm Chris. And I'm Becca, and from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider, Raider Day. Day.